How close are we to artificial general intelligence AGI? No one really knows, of course, but today I have a roundup of current predictions and speculations. A lot's happened in AI in the past months, with the release of ChatGPT 5.1, Grok 4.1 and Gemini 3. Demis Hassab is the brain of DeepMind, says that the company's on track with his previous prediction of reaching AGI in 5 to 10 years. I'm really happy with the progress of Gemini 3. I think people are going to be pretty, pretty pleasantly surprised. Um, but it's on track of what we were expecting the progress to be. And I think that means still five to 10 years with, with one or two more perhaps uh, breakthroughs required. On the overly optimistic end, we have Elon Musk, who wrote at the end of last year, it's increasingly likely that AI will supersede the intelligence of any single human by the end of 2025 and maybe all humans by 2027 or 28. I'm somewhat skeptical that this will pan out. Also on the optimistic and is Dario Mode, CEO of Anthropic. He said earlier this year that possibly by 2026 or 2027, and almost certainly no later than 2030, the capabilities of AI systems will be best thought of as akin to an entirely new state populated by highly intelligent people appearing on the global stage. He likes to refer to this as geniuses in a data center. AGI has never been a well-defined term for me. I've always thought of it as a marketing term. But, um, you know, the way the way I think about it is at some point we're going to get to AI systems that are better than almost all humans at almost all tasks. The term I've used for it in an essay I recently wrote is a country of geniuses in a data center. It's a sort of evocative phrase for all the power and all the positive things and, you know, all of the potential negative things. That's the thing that I think we are quite likely to get in the next two or three years. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has placed his AGI prediction within President Trump's second term. He also set an explicit target date of March 2028, not for AGI, but for a true automated AI researcher. We think it is plausible that by September of next year, we have sort of an intern-level AI research assistant, and that by March of 2028, which I believe is almost five years to the month after the launch of GPT-4, um, we have like a, a legitimate AI researcher. And this is the core thrust of our research program. OpenAI, by the way, is working on a specific science application, which you can sign up to at openai.com slash science. I've no idea what this is about. And no, I'm not getting paid for telling you about this. I just thought you might want to know. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang and former Google CEO Eric Schmidt both believe AGI will come in three to five years. Jeanne Descartes, who recently left Meta, sides more with Demis Hassabis in that we're likely five to ten years away because we'll need several more big technological breakthroughs. However, a recent survey conducted by the Longitudinal Expert AI panel among more than 300 experts found that the experts expect much slower progress than prominent leaders of Frontier AI Labs. Another interesting data point comes from the online forecasting platform Metaculus. People there don't make bets for money, but for points. In the past years, the community has adjusted their expectations for AGI to gradually earlier dates from the 2050s to currently at the end of 2027. That's the median value, though. If you look at the distribution, you see that the mean is somewhat earlier. The research institute Epoch AI predicts that scaling of large language models will likely continue to deliver progress through 2030 and that by then the models will be capable of solving maths, biology and many software problems on their own with high accuracy. So as you can see, most of the predictions span from next year to in 10 years and then there is a pessimistic tale. Part of the reason for the discrepancy is that people mean different things by AGI. Amodei and Altman have silently watered down the definition to something to do with independent research. It's possible to do independent and original research by finding gaps in the published literature. 
That's certainly interesting, but it's not what human-level intelligence looks like. Hassabis and Lekar have been somewhat more consistent with sticking with the general intelligence requirement, which I think is why they have longer timelines. My takeaway from all this is that we have exciting times ahead. Things are moving so quickly that OpenAI has finally rewritten their contract with Microsoft and removed the vague reference to AGI. Instead, they now say they'll use an independent panel of experts to make the call on whether or not they've reached AGI. Committees. That's how you know things are getting serious. It'll be a few years until we reach AGI, but today's AI agents have already become super useful. You just have to find the right one for your purposes. My personal favorite is currently Sintra AI, who've been sponsoring this video. Sintra offers a suite of AI agents for everyday productivity that goes from social media management to coming up with the business strategy to copy editing. If you use my link Sintra dot AI slash Sabina or the code Sabina, that'll get you a whopping 72% discount on a yearly plan. I found Sintra particularly useful to hit the right tone in my writing, depending on the purpose, tightening emails or scripts and finding the right words or how to deal with offended colleagues. Sintra is better at this than I am. It's basically an entire team that works for you. Sintra is powered by the most powerful AI models, has 24-7 support and encrypts your data before storing it. Sounds good? I hope it does. If you go and check them out, make sure to use my link sincha.ai slash Sabina or the code Sabina to make use of my special offer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.